So back again about the brain, she says, scratching your head. So when it comes to traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, and even kinesiology, um, when the brain is out of balance, then actually indecision, that is something that you can um, experience. Not being able to get the words out. Uh, brain fog, menobrain. So menobrain is a term that often um, I've heard quite a few people say, and it's like when you're going through that, uh, be it perimenopause to menopause, where you're like, ah, it's on the tip of my tongue, I can't get the words quite out there. Um, clarity in thinking. So hydration is really important for our brain health. And also, did you know that um, water and also fat, those are two ingredients that actually the brain needs. Um, and the brain works with our nervous system and also our hormonal system. So that electrical impulse and also the blood circulation to send those chemical messengers um, to the body and from the body. And that's my little piece of information to share with you. Um, on the brain and the brain is really important because that's part of how we translate and logically it's like the logic brain and the creative brain to make sense of the world and come up with solutions or really want to be adventurous so uh, making sure that that aspect of our brain is working in harmony with the heart and the body or connective tissue system and also the gut um, and we have our vagus nerve, which actually connects through into the gut. And we have our receptors of the connective tissue system. So we have a felt sense, which is connected with the heart, which we've spoken about before. But also we have a, everything that I see, feel, kind of like touch, those receptors and information is computing and coming to our brain. And then our brains and our bodies have to process all that data information. And when it comes to overwhelm and overload, then often that little, ah, oh, when it's too much is when actually the body is having difficulties process, like that information is too much to process right now. Um, and then there's often a reaction. So maybe you go in from sympathetic into shut down, fight, flight, or freeze, or maybe the reaction is that you go into fawn, which was a new one on me when I was investigating things. And fawn is that idea that rather than uh, freeze or fight or flee, that you actually, it's like you go with it. So it's like, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Can't stop, keep going, keep going. So fawn is like, I'll play along with it until I have an escape route. So my question is, it's like, how often do you keep going, keep going, keep going, fawn? Go along, go along, go along, go along until you're like, I'm busted. That's enough. Again, it's a coping mechanisms and coping mechanisms are all really good until they no longer serve you. And then it's like, okay, well, what other mechanism or opportunity or strategy can I find that actually serves me now? Because we're all changing. Our brain is fantastic and it knows how to adapt and change. We just have to give it that opportunity.